hello youtubers so welcome back to my channel um in this video i'm going to be treating skills their definition their types and i'm going to break everything down based on the types of skill we have okay so if you are really curious about this you definitely watch the end okay so not wasting much of your time um this is your keyboard remember your keyboard is divided into keys or notes we call all these things this white and black stuff you're seeing we call them notes or keys okay so now when you hear the term scale, what is the meaning of scale? Scale is simply um, a name or just a name used to, um, a name given to a group or a collection of notes or keys that are grouped together because of a particular musical reason, okay? So when you hear the term scale, it's simply the name given to the group grouping of keys, okay? Remember, these are keys. So when we group them together, um, following maybe a a formula or a pattern or a system of arrangements so there's a system or pattern that govern how we bring all these notes together and after we bring for instance we will bring um seven notes together to form one group that's what we call skill that group is what we call skill okay so you will understand so don't panic you understand as you proceed okay so this is your um keyboard um um for instance these um so we have different types of scale. We have the major scale, we have the minor scale, we have the pentatonic scale, we have the chromatic scale, we have the blue scales, and so on. Okay, so I'll just I'll just I'll break everything down as we proceed. Okay, so um, firstly, I want you to note that your major and minor scale comprises of seven notes. Remember, I, th I told you scale is um the name given to the grouping of notes, okay? So we bring seven notes together, to, seven notes together to form a major and a minor scale. So your that's just notes that your major and minor scale comprise of seven notes. Your pentatonic scale comprises of five notes, okay? From the name pent, I mean in five. Just like pentagon and like, remember pentagon is five-sided. So pentatonic means um, five notes. We're bringing five notes together, um, okay? To form a scale called pentatonic. Chromatic scale comprises of 12 notes, okay? And basically, it's comprised of all the keys on the keyboard. That's a chromatic scale. And actually, I think that's where we'll stop in this video. Okay, so it's so your major scale. Um, one thing to note about your major scale is that there's a formula that governs how we bring this major scale together. How we bring this, sorry, seven notes together to form the major scale. And the formula is displayed on screen. For major scale, we use the formula tone, tone, semitone. Tone, 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 semitone. Or you can say whole step, half step. Um, whole step, um, whole step, half, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, okay? A tone means literally two notes and a semitone means one note, for instance. So if I want to build, um, I can, okay, remember your keyboard normally um, is grouped into 12 keys, okay? This is your, that is your C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, A, um, G sharp, A, a sharp or B flat and B okay so these are the 12 keys in the keyboard and they are just repeating their same as we go from octave to octave okay so just note that and um so knowing that all these respective keys can we can build the scale of each of these respective key meaning I can build C major scale I can build F major scale I can build G sharp minor scale I can build D E flat minor scale um, so you understand, there is what we call C pentatonic scale, we can get the A major pentatonic scale, and so on, okay? So that's, that's what I'm going to treat in this video. So the, um, so the fourth scale, that's the major scale, back to the fourth scale, if I want to build C major scale, what did I do? Remember the formula? Okay, the first thing to do is to place your hand, your finger on that particular key in which you want to build the scale of, okay? So I want to build the scale of C major, for instance, I place my hand on C. Then I use the formula on screen that has tone. After placing my hand on C, which is the key I want to build the major scale of, then I start tone. That's two notes. One, two. Okay, then after I've put place my finger on C, I add two notes. Tone, one, two. So I've gotten two degrees. That this are the C, D. I've gotten two notes out of the seven notes. So how many is remaining? Five. You got that right. So now, which other notes? Um, is among the seven notes of the C major scale. So we follow the formula. What's the next thing? Tone add two notes again. That's this and this. So we've gotten three notes now. Which remain how many? Seven. I mean four. Sorry. Okay. So the next in the formula is semitone. Semitone means what? One note. So add one note. That's it. We've gotten four notes or four degrees 
of the scale okay four you can call it four notes of four degrees so you remain three notes of three degrees okay so the next in the formula is tone so add two notes we've gotten five the next is tone add two notes to this and this we've gotten six add two notes again and semitone that's one note. so so this this notes that this group of notes is what we call C major scale. So it's comprised C major scale comprises of C, which is the first note in the scale, and that's what gives the scale the identity. That's C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. It's your C major scale. So we bring all these notes together to form your C major scale. And once it um, just notes in any scale, it's really major and minor. So usually the first notes or first degree of any major scale is usually the tonic. We call it tonic notes. So in this case of C major, C is our tonic notes. Okay. And this next note, that the second note or second degree of any major scale is usually called the supertonic. The third is usually called the um, mediant. Okay. The fourth is called the subdominant. The fifth is the dominant. The sixth is submediant. The seventh is um, subtonic and back to your tonic okay so for instance let's do the f major scale how we're going to do is remember the first thing place your finger on that note then start tone one two tone one two semitone add one note we've gotten four degrees of four notes out of the seven remain one many three so what's the next in the formula tone add two notes okay okay we've gotten five in the formula add two notes again we've gotten six seven and one notes so these are the seven notes that come together to form f major scale so they are f um f g a b flat c d e and f okay so that's the seven notes for instance you want to build g major scale what are we going to do place your finger on g start tone okay add two notes tone semitone add one note tone add two notes tone semitone add one note okay sorry um tone again add two notes that's this and add one note that semitone. So this are the this is your G major scale. Okay. So now to your minor scale, the formula for building your minor scale is um tone, semitone, tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone. Okay, or you say whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. Okay, so for instance, if you want to build a minor scale, for instance, we place our hand on that key in which we want to build the scale first. So place my hand on A, this is your A, then starts. Tone, that's one, two, okay. Semitone, that's one note. There's no other notes here, so I just add one. So I've gotten three notes out of the seven. Um, tone, add two notes. Okay, I've gotten four. Tone again, add two notes. I've gotten five, okay. It remain, I mean, two. The next in the formula is what? Semitone, add one. I've gotten six. After that, what is again? Tone, okay, and tone. So these are the seven notes that come together to form our A minor scale, okay? Minor scale. And if you see the sound, it has a kind of dull sound, okay? Something like this. Unlike our major scale, which is happier, okay? Um, so for instance, what about D minor? We want to build our D minor scale. We place the hand on D, for instance. Then you count. Tone, that's one, two, okay? Semitone, just one note. So we've gotten three notes. Tone, one, two. Tone, one, two. We've gotten five notes. Tone, sorry, semitone. That's this. Okay, tone. This is um, tone. Okay, so, um, <laughs> so yeah, and tone again, add two. So this is our minor scale. Okay, so one thing you need to know about this minor scale, you can also call it relative minor, and that's another name you can call your minor scale. What do I mean? So instead of, for instance, for this minor scale, instead of using the tone, 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 semitone, that's the formula, there's a kind of cheat you can just use. So for instance, um, um, what, I just, what I just asked myself, for instance, in this A minor scale we um, use, remember this is your A minor scale. So what I'll ask myself, which key has A as its six, six notes, okay? As its sixth degree. So any key in which you want to get the minor scale of, you can just ask. This and remember this and that tip. You can just ask which key has that particular key in which I want to build the minor scale. Okay, which key has it as its sixth degree? Okay, this is what I mean. Look at C major. We want to get the minor scale of A. Okay, 
and I'm, I'm going to ask which key has A as my sixth note, and that's A, A and that's C major scale. So look at C major scale, okay, after using the formula I've gotten my scale. So this is my first note in the scale, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and this is A, okay. So A happens to be the sixth degree of C major scale. So what I'm just going to do, using this C major scale, I'm just going to run from my sixth degree to my sixth degree again, and that's going to be my A minor scale. Okay, so I can just do something like this. So I run from the sixth degree of C major to the sixth degree, and that's my A minor scale. So instead of using the formula, you can just use this tip. So for instance, in F now, for instance, okay, if you want to get D minor scale, what I will just ask myself, which key has D as six notes? Okay, that's F. This F, F major scale. That's one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is D. So I'll just run through. F major scale that's from the sixth degree to the sixth degree of F major. Okay, so it's going to be like this. Okay, if this is too hard, you can just use the formula T, but this is a kind of cheat. Okay, so now, um, there are two types of minor scale. Okay, there are two subtypes we have the uh, they are called the harmonic minor and the melodic minor, and these two scale depends on the natural minor or the minor scale. Okay, so the minor scale you can either call it relative or natural minor. So we have two subtypes that's your harmonic, harmonic and melodic. So these two scales depend on they follow they depend on each other. The harmonic minor scale depends on the um, natural minor scale, while the melodic minor scale depends on the harmonic. This is what I mean. Remember this is a natural minor scale or relative minor scale, okay? So so to get the harmonic minor scale is simply after you've gotten your minor scale of any key that's a natural minor all you just do you sharp the seventh and that's your harmonic minor so these are a natural minor scale okay that's this 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 this, this. so these are our first two one two three four five six seven okay so what we're going to do is for a harmonic minor scale we're just going to sharp the seven remember sharp is increasing by a note okay so we just take this higher so instead of this running through this we're going to do like this. Okay, we are sharpening the seven. Instead of these sevens, we play the sharp sevens and go to this. Okay, so that's your harmonic minor for any key. For instance, if this is D minor scale, instead of running just this, so we just count these are our first notes in the scale for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to sharp the seven. So it's going to be like this. Okay, that's your harmonic minor. So your melodic minor is just simply after you've gotten your harmonic minor, you sharp the the sixth, just sharpen the sixth of the harmonic minor is your melodic minor. So it's gonna be like this instead of just um, for instance a um, a um, harmonic minor scale like this. No, sorry. Okay. So remember this is the sharp seven. So for melodic, we also sharp the sixth. Okay, so I can just say harmonic minor scale is simply sharpen the sevenths of the natural minor scale, while melodic minor scale is sharpen the sixth and the sevenths of the natural minor scale. Okay, so that's all about that. So the next type of scale you are likely to use your pentatonic scale. From the name penta, it means five note scale. Okay. So simply your pentatonic scale depends on your major scale. You see many things depend on major scale, that's why it's really called major. And most of the songs are sung on the major scale, okay? Minor song, minor scale, most of most of the emotional songs we use the minor scale for that, okay? Um so nevertheless, pentatonic scale depends on the major scale in the sense that once you've gotten your major scale of any key, you just pick the first notes or the first degree of that scale, the second, third, fifth and sixth degree of the scale this is what i mean for instance in the key of c major scale is your c major scale that's one two three four five six seven okay like this so i just pick the first remember these are the seven these are the seven degrees remember this is the same thing as this seven notes that come together so i just pick the one pick the one the second the third remember this is the fourth so you omit the fourth pick the fifth and pick the sixth so this is our C pentatonic scale, okay? Picking the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth degree of a major scale. For instance, if this is um G major scale, this is G major scale. 
Okay, that's this, 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 this. Okay, so we are going to pick the first one, two, three. Okay, for me, the fourth, pick the fifth and sixth. These are pentatonic scale, G pentatonic scale. So that's all about pentatonic scale. And pentatonic scale, remember, this is um, um, major, this is pentatonic major scale. Okay, the minor scale of pentatonic is simply starting from the sixth degree of that pentatonic scale you've gotten or you've built from a major scale okay this time not from the major scale we're just running from the sixth degree to the sixth degree of the pentatonic scale we've built so for instance c pentatonic scale remember is this this is the one two three five six this is your six so simply running from the six to this to the next six in the higher octave still using that pentatonic scale okay that's your minor pentatonic scale so if I had more fingers, I would have covered all the notes. So, if you want to run from the sixth to the next six using the notes in this C major pentatonic scale, so I'm going to start from here, pick this, pick this, pick this, okay? Pick, I'm going to do like this, then eat this and this. Remember, this is my sixth and this is my sixth. So, if I run through all these notes to my minor pentatonic scale, so instead of something like this, I'm going to start from sixth of this pentatonic scale. And that's my minor pentatonic scale, okay? So now I'm moving to chromatic scale. What is chromatic scale? Chromatic scale is simply a scale of 12 notes that come together to form a chromatic scale. And it's simply, um, I can call it, it's simply running a note to a note, okay? So here this is C. For instance, this is C, and this is my C in the next octave. All I'm going to do, if I run through C to C, um, by just adding semitones at each successive, successive point. That's my chromatic scale. This is what I mean. So running from this to this, I want to meet this guy, this same guy at the upper octave. I just add one semitone, add another semitone, this, this, just be adding semitones, okay? So you get back to that key, and that's your chromatic scale. So if you count all the notes in between this C and C, you see that wave. Let's find out. These are, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Let's wait back to your C, okay? That's a chromatic. Let's run F sharp chromatic scale. This is place around on F, then start. Be counting, adding semitones. So you get back to F, okay? Let's count the notes between 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you're, that's your chromatic scale, okay?